Hello and welcome to another update from Born Ready Games. Um, I'm here today to let you know two things. One, the Marauder Strike Suit, which many of you on Kickstarter backed for, is out now. Uh, you should have a code for that waiting in your inbox right now. Uh, do check your filter settings on your email client because some people have found that that's been uh, caught up somewhere along the line. But uh, you should have it, so do check. If not, get in touch and I'll send you one manually. Uh, secondly, and we've kept this under wraps until now, there is a second strike suit available, um, and that is called the Raptor, and that is available on Steam now. Right, so um, we've got two new strike suits, um, the Marauder and the Raptor. Um, the Marauder is a heavy strike suit, and it's the heaviest armoured of all the strike suits. Um, it's designed with a sort of more mech warrior uh, aesthetic for the western taste, so the least Japanese of all our designs. Um, it's got a heavy um, artillery weapon, cannon, um, which is uh, high damage and long range. Um, the Raptor is a light assault uh, mech. Um, it's uh, really fast and nippy to them all, and it's got uh, a shotgun style weapon which deals uh, high damage at short range. So the Marauder is the closest to Jinji's original vision um, in his concept artwork. Um, it's still got the brown kind of paint job. Um, the only real differences that I've made to it are the graphics, um, the decals, which have this kind of corporate mixed with military vibe to them. Um, I've also uh, done that for the Raptor, um, but the Raptor's got a different paint job. It's more of a sort of stealthy dark grey. To model the strike suits, um, we start with a base mesh, which we animate, which is low poly. Um, and we use that to check the animation and uh, just check the general form of the suit. Um, after that we'll create a high poly uh, and a game mesh and from the high poly. Uh, we'll use the high poly to bake a normal map information which is lighting information um, and an ambient occlusion map which we use in the texture to make the texture look more realistic. Uh, the ambient occlusion uh, uh, is, is a map that um, is created from occluded light to darkened recessed areas and give it a kind of um, global illumination, soft lighting uh, effect. Um, we'll, I'll use the normal map and the um, ambient occlusion map to create the texture from also uh, with um, photo resources um, and uh, hand painted elements. Um, I'll use uh, Adobe Illustrator to create the graphics and the decals which I'll lay on on top and then uh, do a dirt pass and a, a scratch pass across the whole thing um, and add in the additional elements like the emissive components um, and any additional metal effects or scratch effects. So that's the new strike seats, the Marauder and Raptor. Uh, hope you like them. So yeah, that's the new strike suits for Strike Suit Zero. Um, we'll have more updates very shortly, uh, including information on the mod tools, which we're going to be talking about very shortly. Uh, so do check back with us on that. Uh, until then, um, keep your eyes on the page for updates, and thanks for watching.